do not be swept up by the deceitful narrative of Islamophobia. Do not allow that deceitful narrative of Islamophobia to blind you to the many and consistent examples of prejudice and Christophobia that exists in the Muslim world. Anti-Christian pogroms in Pakistan, anti-Christian pogroms in Egypt, the tearing down and destruction of entire churches, the annihilation of tens of thousands of Christians in Nigeria, the bombings of churches in Pakistan, the protests and outrage by Indonesian Muslims because a Christian was elected as the governor of Indonesia, the kidnapping of a Christian pastor in Malaysia by the authorities that is caught on film making it illegal for Christians to proselytize to Malay Muslims, making it illegal to build new churches in Indonesia. The murder of Christians in Turkey, the attempted genocide of Christians in Syria and Iraq, the complete illegality to practice Christianity in public in Saudi Arabia, how many examples do you need to see before you counter the progressive narrative of Islamophobia by talking about the reality of Christophobia in the Islamic world? What about in the UK? What about the attempted murder of Nisa Hussein caught on film? What about the suspected Islamist terrorist who tried to murder a Christian in this very park? What about the suspected Muslim in East London who tried to tear down a cross? Stand up for yourselves, Christians. Find your balls and start speaking up for your brothers and sisters around the world.